like I am the gatekeeper here uh -huh. to for him to get into any shows here. I help him out because I need to control and to be part of like a certain production that can deliver. I don't want any high school production, so I want to make sure. No high school production. Yeah, I want to make that. sure. Okay. I want to make sure that you know, and my standard as also as a designer. And of course, he works so hard for his brand. Mm -hmm. He is a brand that we could be proud of as a Filipino. Alexis Monsanto, once again for APAD. Tell me about this uh, partnership and collaboration because I know that you've been a feature designer uh, for many times and for many years. My involvement with APAT or APAD it has been in, um, st has started during the uh, reign of Dean Guishi here. Mm -hmm. And Dean Guishi was the founding director. He just passed away a few months ago. And Dean was the um, founding director also of the APGF for those API gays um, and lesbians in LA. I don't want to date myself, but in the late, <laughs> in the late um, early 90s, that's when I got involved with them. We help one another with um, when the fundraising efforts for this organization. Dean is a, let me say, a benevolent leader. Mm -hmm. He gives a lot, you know, so he's like, you know, I get inspired by him too also. So we give to the community to go back. Right. I'm also inspired that the executive director of this wonderful organization, obviously, is a Filipino pride in Jewry, Candelario. Yes. Uh, tell me what it's like, Naman, working with a fellow Filipino to uplift not just the Filipino community, but the LGBTQ community and beyond. It is really, really nice and really good for us to be helping one another um, without the crab mentality issues and all that and uplifting one another. And he believes the Filipino talent and he recognizes that to me. It's really good to be recognized by him and then he believes in my talent. So like he helped me also to be able to do my shows and all that. You were instrumental in having another world famous Filipino uh, flying in from a different part of the globe to join and to be featured in this fashion show. Yes, I'm very happy. And Julius was, he said, you are the best in the Western Hemisphere and she's, he's the best in the Eastern Hemisphere. So it's the both of the, you need to be in the same stage together. And we are talking about the inimitable, <laughs> world famous... Michael Cinco. Michael Cinco. You also have a friendship with Michael that goes way back. Yes. Talk to us about that. Well, I've met him ever since in uh, during the uh, Miami Fashion Week and since then, we bonded and we share stories. And um, it's just like you blended in each other, right. and there is like a good, you know, energy about it, positive vibes. You right. know. Since you've known him for a long time, if there are three things that you think people should know about Michael that we don't know about yet, what he's are those? humble, he's shy, and he's generous. Wow, humble, shy, and generous. Well. And I also want to thank you because I believe you were the one that introduced me to APAT many, many years ago for one of your fashion shows. I know uh, different events, different venues, and different years. So what makes this particular show for you or this collection more memorable? And how different is it from the previous shows? Well, my collection is all about Atlantis. Mm. Uh, under the sea and um, the beauties of it. Ocean floors, the beds, and all that. Well, every collection are my babies. Mm -hmm. You know, every piece of it, and I worked so hard for it as I conceptualized the colors and the design and the concept. Well, I am showcasing a twenty looks for this. I conceptualized on this one since um, I think May, but I started production actually <laughs> not in a perfect world. It's like July, uh, like August. Putting up the color combinations is the color pa palette is the, the hardest part also that needs to establish first and then the silhouettes that I will you know and then everything will go on towards mostly I can give out a little you know thing on the end but my mermaid queen is a queen so it's been very fitting for us and to be in this whole political climate as well that we're here and we're in for a female leadership in our country. Wow. So I want to do that. Uh -huh. as like That's my thing on this one. So 
it will be her biggest impact in the show. And I want to see that, that she's the leader of the ocean thing, uh, the Atlantis. It's not a male, it's going to be a female. Wow. So please welcome the Alexis Monsanto Spring Summer 2025 Atlantis Collection. 